Dun um yes! No. Today we're doing a blue look because I'm depressed. I accidentally flushed my goldfish down the toilet this morning. Sad! Back when I was 20, I got my drink spiked in Paris. My friend took me back to the hostel where I proceeded to run down the hallway like a common dwarf mongoose. Oh my lord, was I out of my mind. The next day I was so foul, but I proceeded to go to the Louvre because I am so cultured. Unfortunately, I projectile vomited on the Mona Lisa and got arrested. Luckily for me, the judge in the trial was very cute. And we went for coffee and a monstrous baguette afterwards. I asked him how much he got paid, for obvious reasons. But that just triggered him to talk about his job, so I fell asleep in the cafe. Only to wake up and realise that he was long gone and stuck me with the bill! I had to work as a dish pig to pay it off, as I have no money. And I don't speak a lick of French, so it was a very interesting experience. Lord, do I love travelling! As you can see, the setting powder has decided to form a cake batter-like consistency on my upper lip. Can that buzzing just shut up? I am so over today already. I've been experiencing a lot of gender dysphoria lately, so I've stopped sharing so I don't have to look at myself. Hygiene isn't that important. I don't care what mental health practitioners say. I can't handle my body! I was standing in the wind the other day, watching it blow through the trees, and I was so relaxed. I decided then and there that I don't want to be a bloody human anymore, I want to be a bloody tree! Then I found out that they produce oxygen, and that's a little bit of a deal breaker for me. As that means I have to bloody do something, and that lifestyle is not for me. I still wouldn't mind having a haircut that's reminiscent of a dying monstera leaf though. I recently got engaged to someone. Thanks for the congratulations in advance. They aren't aware of the engagement yet. But I am in love! And I know they feel the same way. I mean, who wouldn't be infatuated with me? I know it's a bit weird that he doesn't know, but my plan is to tell him on the second date. I mean, he hasn't texted me for a second date, but that's just him in a nutshell. Keeping the mystery alive. The waiting game is so mysterious. My sweaty upper lip is betraying me yet again! Oh, this is a disaster. I'm going to have to write a letter to someone about this! The kitchen door flew off its hinges today. I don't think it was my fault. But maybe I was a little bit heavy-handed because I was having a rage episode. The kettle wasn't boiling fast enough for my liking! Anyway, the landlord said it was going to cost $750 to replace, so... I've decided now that it's just going to be an aesthetic choice. It's a bit shabby chic. So I've started destroying other items around the house just so everything matches. It's a very cathartic process and I needed a hobby anyway. I'm not gonna lie, I did rush this look a little bit, mainly because I got bored and I've been a bit sad ever since I de-identified from being a tree. Well, the theme was blue today because of goldfish depression, but do you know what? After all of this, I just feel more depressed. 